Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And I just recently heard about this. It looks like Citrix has Zen Server 6.2, which is now fully open source. And it's free to download and use, which is pretty exciting. It looks like Citrix is also introducing ZenServer.org community portal for people to go in there and start chatting about issues, tips and tricks. Um, I haven't used Citrix for many, many years. Uh, I used to love Citrix, and then I, you know, I found out VMware was awesome, and especially Hyper-V with Microsoft. But uh, today's video, guys, I want to show you how to get this guy installed where inside VMware Workstation 9.0. The reason that I like to do these things in a virtual environment is because I like to test it before I even put it into a physical hard drive or a physical machine. So. Uh, this is the link right here that you guys can go and download it. I'm going to place the link at the bottom of the video at the description part so you guys can download. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the download with Citrix is that you have to have the latest Java for it to work. So you know, keep in mind you have to have Java. Uh, so I have my VM workstation up and running. Uh, I created a folder within my E drive called BJ Zen Server and this is where I'm gonna drop my virtual machine so let's create one create a new virtual machine I'm gonna hit next next because I'm gonna install the operating system later now VM workstation doesn't support Zen Server out of the box so if you use VM EX EX X ESX I can never say that right away uh, if you use this version right here you hit next you're good to go uh, give it a name. I'm going to give it as this BJ Zen server, and this is the location where I'm going to drop the files. Hit next. I'm going to keep it as 40 gigs and hit finish. Now, if the machine that you're testing this, your host, like my host machine, if your host machine does support uh, virtualized Intel or VT virtualization, you would take advantage of all the features that Zen server has. My machine does, but I haven't. I have to reboot and get into the BIOS system to configure this or to enable this. So I'm going to uncheck that because I'm going to get an error. Actually, I'm going to leave it checked just to show you what's going to happen. Uh, so I'm going to go to edit again because I forgot to put the ISO. Again, I already downloaded the ISO. There it goes. It's about uh, 60 megs. I mean, not 60 megs, 600 megs. So it's pretty big. Press OK. And we're gonna power it on. I'm gonna close this right here. Now, as you can see, uh, my machine does support this, but it looks like I haven't enabled it on the BIOS setting. So most likely, I have to do that later on. But uh, I'm gonna continue without the Intel because it's still gonna work. I'm still gonna be able to get into it and install it with no problem. But it's some of the features that I am not going to have because uh, VT virtualization is not enabled. And so once uh, the boot loader gets up and running and you're gonna get this right here uh, depending on where you're from you need to pick the key map I'm from the US so I'm gonna hit enter or OK uh, right here it's gonna welcome you to set up the tools that would be installed to upgrade the Zing server on your system blah 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 hit enter OK you want to accept the EULA agreement and the following problem were found with your hardware again I don't have the VT uh, hardware virtualization enabled into my BIOS so I'm gonna lose some of the features but remember do enable that on your end so you can take advantage of all the features within the Zing server 6.2 so I'm hit OK and uh, I'm going to leave this as a default because that's how much that's my uh, my hard drive hit OK uh, local media is what you're gonna be installing from and would you like to install any supplementary packs? I don't have any, so I'm going to hit no. And do you want to verify installation source? I'm going to skip this and give it a password. And let's provide a password. So the pass, this password is when you connect into your or you when you use your console to connect to this. This is the password that you're going to give it. That's going to be a later on video. So I'm going to have my DHCP assign an IP address to this guy. And uh, I'm going to manually specify, yep, 
So I'm allowed uh, DNS to be provided by my DHCP and as you can see right here this is going to be the name my host so I'm, the host is going to be BJ Zen server and we're going to hit enter and I am from America and New York and I am going to use the NTP I don't have a manual one I'm going to allow my DHCP to uh, configure my NTP and uh, we're going to install it and we're back so once everything is completed you're going to get this dialog box uh, because I'm on a virtual machine I'm going to go and right click here go to settings and I am going to dismount my ISO so I'm just going to use my physical drive press OK and get back into my virtual machine and hit enter so it can reboot once it reboots it's going to finalize and then from there you're going to get into the console that will give you all the information such as the IP address to go inside your Zen server to manage it and we're back guys it's uh, fully completed it's it rebooted and once you reboot this is what you get uh, again you could assign an IP address to it if you want but I let my DHCP assign an IP address to it uh, and that's it guys I think on the next video I'm going to show you how to get into the manager and download what you need to download so you can get into it. That nice that, that nice little GUI console. I think the GUI console is called Zen I think Zen uh, console. I'm not too sure. Uh, but I catch you guys on the next video. Uh, if, please give me thumbs up. Please subscribe. Also, if you have any any concerns or any questions, leave them right next to the comment area. I always do. I'll reply to all my comments, good or bad, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.